what's up guys and this is game maker tutorial to bring you in you game maker series and this game maker series we are going to be creating a game called a cells life so basically this is my idea which it came up like probably like yesterday at uh, night but anyways that's not the important thing so in this tutorial we are going to be making uh, menu basics so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a sprite logo right off the bat you don't have to create that but that's my personal belongs and you can do anything you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a sprite logo like that and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead edit the sprite um, add some animation like just go up here animation um, rotation wait a second oh yeah disappear I'm gonna put it to 60 frames which is logically 59 as you can see we have 60 but over here it's 59 okay so uh, press ok I'm gonna go ahead and save the game data and now I'm just gonna go ahead and create an object of a J logo uh, give it the logo sprite and then just gonna go ahead and uh, choose a, a create event go up here to uh, I mean go down here to the control section and drag the execute code to the actions bar and uh, type in image speed equals zero okay so now it won't disappear at all and thus I'm gonna give it like about alarm like approximately 140 which is basically five seconds five four seconds then add an alarm event drag the execute code and type in image speed is equal to one now after approximately four seconds to five seconds our image logo or sprite logo is gonna is gonna disappear like slowly and now in order to make it disappear like uh, like uh, I mean <laughs> in order to make it destroy itself just enter the execute code in the step event and uh, type in if image index is equal to 59 okay uh, instance sec instance destroy so that's basically if the image index which is logically the frame if the frame is equal to 59 the sprite the object is going to destroy itself and then we're just going to go ahead and add another code which says room ghetto menu or menu I don't know how you can call it so um, you think that this is not activated because we haven't got any room yet where but we're going to do it just in a second so go ahead and uh, create a room I'm just gonna call the first room intro gonna give it a uh, white background like so can drag it to the middle okay and now what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna enter the object section take the logo and as you can see over here down here you get the X and get the Y which is basically the X is on the horizontal and the Y is on the vertical so make sure that your uh, sprite logo is in the middle uh, logically thinking if our uh, room is 640 to 480 then the middle should be 320 to 240 which is our sprite logo standing in the correct position so just put it over there save your game data and add one more room I mean add one more room we can just drag and uh, drag this thing over here or you can just press on it we're gonna enter the settings and call it the menu so that's basically gonna activate this line over here as you can see it was black and now it's yellow because it's activated so I'm just gonna go ahead uh, run the game just in order to show you how does the intro work let's give it a sec loading and uh, you're gonna get this and you can probably put a timer but anyways as you can see it's disappeared and now we we are in room number two which is our menu so that's that I'm gonna come back to my game maker over here and now I'm just gonna go ahead and create a group call it 
group menu menu I don't know how you could call it so that's that create a group for our sprites and a create a, a group for our objects so group menu okay great so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, create a uh, sprite title right off the bat I'm gonna go ahead and edit that make it like approximately 64 height and uh, maybe 298 okay you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and make it um, 98 and uh, give it like approximately 368 which should be enough okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the uh, draw text middle it enter the font just a little bit over the Tahoma I don't know how it's read you've got a system so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give it a uh, 32 size and uh, type in a cells a cells life like so as you can see it's very small so just enter the size like make it a little bit bigger like so and this is just perfect so we've got a cells life make sure you center it like that origin center it great now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, create a, a sprite uh, I don't know but uh, you don't have to do that but as for me I have my own company so in every game that we create we should like put in a, our logo at uh, I think at the bottom right side but you don't have to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give it a 98 width or or you know what it's gonna go ahead and give it a, a 198 which should be more than enough I'm gonna give it a uh, Eight size and gonna write brainstorm team a oops Just give me a second brainstorm brainstorm team a okay so that should be it okay like that make sure that's in the center okay center it uh, <laughs> wait a second what I'm saying that's not important to do and basically um, we've got our title and you don't have to get this now the next three steps that we are gonna do are we're gonna create a sprite play which basically begins our game at the sprite we're gonna make it like approximately nine wait a second um, 64 by uh, no you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a 48 by 260 which should be more than enough I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make it bigger in order to uh, see correctly gonna choose the right color which is just done by right clicking on the on the on any kind of color that you want so I'm just gonna go and choose the third size take the box with the fill in color and uh, probably okay and uh, probably just gonna go ahead and uh, give me a sec and draw it like so now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, draw a text call it um, play or yeah play okay make it bigger like approximately 4 H should be enough oops that's way big 32 okay 32 is great so make sure it's in the middle like so and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it Face it one more time, but in the second image or in the second frame, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it fade to green color, like so. Okay, so uh, you're gonna be thinking, why am I making this the other image fade, and why did I, and why do I have two images? Well, that'll be explained just in a second. So go ahead and create a sprite play. Just gonna go ahead and duplicate it and uh, type in sprite exit, cause the load and save will be like later on so just go ahead and delete the image number one go ahead and take your pencil and and hold your and hold your right button sorry for that hold your right button and uh, keep on <laughs> removing all of this black uh, typed in text by just holding the right button because you've got your own gray color which is used to, to do the background and the only thing that is left you just have to hold up your just have to hold up your 
uh, right button okay so just go ahead and enter the draw text and type in exit which uh, should be good okay just make sure that it's in the cent it's in the center copy a base enter the enter the second frame and make it fade so we're pretty much done uh, with the <coughs> sprites of the group menu now the only thing that's left is to create the objects for them so object title uh, give it the tile sprite just like that create the object company which isn't necessary but that's as I mentioned from before that's a needs in our company then just create another object call it the object play well in here we're gonna just go ahead and put in some codes give it first of all the sprite of the play and then uh, choose the enter <coughs> the the create event and uh, go down to the control section and take the execute code and type in image speed is equal to zero I've explained why uh, and how does that work like a few minutes ago so basically just type in that and uh, then let's go ahead to the mouse event and uh, left and you know what no and mouse enter so mouse enter is basically representing whenever your mouse your icon of the mouse is just over the object so when it whenever it's over the object I'm just gonna go and uh, give it this piece of code image index is equal to one so as you see it here our speed is equal to zero that means our sprite doesn't ha doesn't have any kind of animation like for example doesn't fade to green and then goes back to normal it just stays normal all the time but whenever the mouse is over the, no the original image it fades to the green color and whenever the mouse is uh, is leaving like whenever the mouse uh, already left the image just go ahead and input I image index is equal to zero so that's basically gives you the ability to put the mouse over the object and the object fades and whenever you remove the mouse from the object the, Im uh, the object uh, goes back to normal so this basically those three events give you uh, this eff effect so just go ahead and uh, duplicate the object play give the object a uh, exit um, give it the exit sprite like so and uh, you should be good to go and now just before doing our menu I want to add a background just go ahead and call it a uh, BGR uh, menu and I don't know if you got those things but I just went ahead and uh, downloaded an image like so which basically represents our cells so I'm just gonna go ahead um, copy it because I don't think this is the right size so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take all of it uh, copy it then uh, put this to 248 the height and uh, 400 width which should be enough uh, bring it to the right size just go ahead and paste the cell image make sure you centralize it and then go to the transform section and go down to scale now this scale gives you the ability to make it uh, uh, to um, pr basically make it bigger and uh, make it smaller so just go ahead and make it like this size which should be enough just go ahead and press ok just go ahead and save our game data and now enter our menu uh, room so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just like so make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening over here and yep just like that so just gonna go ahead and enter the background section and uh, choose the background okay so now you can uh, uh, you now see uh, four of our background so in order to fix that just go ahead and uh, press the stretch and now you've got only one background and we've got a green background with cells and um, what a match our play object and our exit object also fade to green which is just excellent just, just go ahead take the dial make sh take the title make sure that you uh, disable the delete underlining and uh, make sure you centralize it like that okay great Appro approximately like that um, just gonna go ahead and take this unnecessary thing just gonna go ahead and put it down here like so but as I mentioned like few seconds ago that is not necessary just put the play over here 
make sure it's in the center like that 320 it's it's shown like or like over here like 320 anyways take the exit but it also make sure it's uh, at the center and you've got uh, a menu like that so that's basically very good and uh, we pretty much have our menu base just go ahead and save your game data and let's just go ahead and test out our game so just give it a second to save the executable we'll go ahead and put it in the middle like that I don't know if, if you can see it like perfectly but that but putting it in <laughs> that form should be excellent so as, as you can just as you just see like now um, sorry my English isn't very good but anyways improving every day <laughs> okay so as if just uh, saw like just right moments ago that we've got our logo and uh, moments pass while it started to disappear but when it started to disappear and it got to the 59th uh, frame it just uh, destroyed itself and took us to the menu and this is basically our menu here's our uh, brainstorm team right over here got our title it sells life and here you go whenever the mouse enters the object it just fades into green and whenever it leaves the object it just goes back to normal this is our fade effect so it's basically our menu tutorial our menu basics and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish our episode at uh, this area over here so basically in our next episode we are gonna be doing um, our exiting thing over here and our play thing over here which should be probably taking us to a different room where you can create different organisms well organisms stand for different worlds for example just press play create a world which is in our case an organism you enter the world you just play and then you wanna save but the save and the loading probably will be like in the third episode but that's it for today's hope you liked the video if you did please hit that big like button below and you and you if you have any kind of problem but any kind of bugs or I don't know misunderstandings sure do comment in the comment section below I reply very fast and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I'll explain anything you need and everything that you don't understand so Thank you for watching, this was Game Maker Tutorials, and see you in the next episode, but until now, goodbye.